Hi, and welcome to the quick start guide for Menu System Pro. In this video, you will learn how to use Menu System Pro and how to implement it in your own level. But before we start, everything shown in this video is also available as PDF document. To learn more about Menu System Pro, download the PDF and work through it after this video. But now, let's get started. The first thing we have to do is search for Menu System Pro in our vault. Once we find it, we can select install to engine and select the desired engine version. We recommend always staying on the latest version to get the latest updates from Menu System Pro. After you've installed Menu System Pro to your engine, you will want to move it to your project folder. To do this, head to your engine folder and under plugins, marketplace, Copy the Menu System Pro folder. Now, in our project directory, we might not have a uh, plugins folder already here, so we're going to create that and call it plugins. Just copy and paste that here. All right, we now have Menu System Pro installed in our project and can start using it. All right, and with that out of the way, we can get started by enabling our plugin in the plugins window. So click on settings, plugins, and on the left, you will see all the different plugin categories. And under installed, you should see your project plugins. You can also search for plugins by using the search bar and we're just going to enable Menu System Pro at this point. So after that we will need an engine restart. So hit the restart button and once you're done you will see the Menu System Pro content and Menu System Pro C++ classes folder in your content browser. In case you don't see it, click this button over here and make sure that under view options, you've also set the flag for show plugin content. In case you haven't moved from the engine to the project category, you will have to enable the show engine content flag at this point. So let's go ahead and start the example level under many system pro content levels and then like scene. On your first startup, you might have to wait a little bit to compile the shaders. So at this point, just grab a coffee and a snack and come back to the video when that's done for you. All right, I've just skipped that and everything should now be set up to get started with our example level. This level shows you how to implement Many System Pro in your own level. So we can just hit play at this point and we will get right into the game intro and we are on the hit any key to start screen. So you'll notice on the left and right, we'll have black bars. These are entirely because of the awkward um, editor window resolution we have right here. So you can manually adjust that or simply don't use the play and editor window and use the new editor window option. This will change your default option, so when you hit play, it will always start a new editor window. In case you also want to test how it looks like as a standalone game, you should choose that option and it will give you a more traditional um, window that also starts in an entirely different process from the Unreal Engine, so some things might behave differently and it's more for testing your final game. So at this point, we'll just choose new editor window. And when we get to the any key screen, you'll notice the black bars on the left and right have disappeared. So what you might see now on the top and bottom, you still have black bars, but those are entirely artistic choice from us. You can definitely disable them or remove them from the widget if you don't like them. We just think it gives it all in more cinematic uh, feeling. 
So at this point, just try out the menu, click through everything, check that it works for you. And we can just jump out of it and get started with copying Menu System Pro to our own level. So to do this, we will create a new level in our project's content browser. So we're just gonna call it menu level, save that. And so with this entirely empty level, we will have to add some code to the level blueprint for it to load up the menu system pro when play is pressed. So under blueprint, open the level blueprint and we will add that code on the begin play node. Just search for create widget and once we select our class, this node will change to a widget creation node with our class name in it. So we can get that owning player to our player controller. And in order to make sure that the widget is actually shown on screen, we will have to use the add to viewport and make sure that that connection from the return value is used as input. And from the player controller, we can drag out the set input mode UI only. This will make sure that the player can't move with the pawn while in the menu. And we will also enable the mouse cursor while in the menu. Just tick that box and connect it. And that's basically it. You can also work with the uh, lock mode if it doesn't work for your game. Try playing around with it. So if we hit play, we can see that Menu System Pro works in our own level. So we can get started with customizing Menu System Pro. The first thing we probably want to do is change the level that we will end up in when we hit new game. So right now, if we do that, you'll see that we end up in the lake scene level. In order to do this, we have to find the widget. So in our level blueprint again, click on the magnifying glass to find the main menu container widget. This is the global class that surrounds every uh, menu in Menu System Pro. And right here, we can find the main menu overview widget. And let's hit edit in the top right. And we're now in the main menu overview widget. So right here, we'll see the different buttons and we can select the new game button to see where in the code it is implemented. And right here, we can click on the event and view it in the event graph. You'll notice that we've changed from the designer to the event graph. And we're also in the event graph tab, so make sure you're right there. And in this unclicked event, you'll see everything is commented and there's a delay node that you might want to remove if you have a proper game. This is just to simulate the uh, loading screen in our example, because otherwise it would load too quick. So on this open level node is actually where we have to change out the lake scene with the name of our own level. So let me go back to the content browser and get that name real quick. I'm just gonna hit F2 and then copy and paste that name right into the blueprint node. Hit compile and save and that should be done. So now if we start the game and hit new game, we will end up in our FPS example level. So we can now start playing our game, but there's one more thing. The pause menu isn't working right now because we haven't actually implemented the input for it. So let's get started with that. 
we will head to the blueprints and right here we will create a player controller class. If you already have a player controller, that's fine, you can use that. I'm just going to create one and make sure that this first person controller uses the same setup that I, we use in the sample player controller that is shipped with Menu System Pro. So open them up side by side and we can uh, just copy this variable over here. All right, so our player controller now has the game is paused variable. And now we'll start doing the same thing for the player character. So open up your character blueprint and our sample character blueprint. And you'll notice in our sample, everything that's orange is basically code that is for a menu system pro. We only really need the bottom code right here that is selected to make sure that menu system pro works. So let's copy and paste that. And compile and save, and we have a bunch of errors. So first things first, we'll uh, make sure that we replace all those references to the sample player controller to references of our own player controller. For this, we'll need a new variable, and we'll just name this first person player controller because this is a name that I use. You can of course rename it to whatever your name is. And it's a first person player controller reference. So let's replace that with a get first person player controller node. And from that node, we will have to pull out a set is game paused node and replace the old one with this newly created one. Make sure the checkbox is ticked and we'll do the same thing for all the other references to the first person player controller. We can just copy and paste that. Make sure it's unticked in this case. And we still have some errors on the left over here. Oh yeah, remove this reference and replace it with the first person player controller. And pull out is game pause. Connect that to the not node and compile and save. No errors. So that code is all done down here and all we need to do now is at the top in the begin play set the reference to our first person player controller. So I'm just going to add a sequence node to leave the other code untouched. This node will execute the first path first and then the second path without interfering with each other. It's basically like you're chaining it to the end of the first part. So let's create a cast to our first person controller and pull that from the get player controller node. So whenever we have a player controller in our level that is of type of our own, first person controller class, we can set that reference and the code should work just fine with that. Let's compile and save. All right, and now to ensure that our player controller is actually used in our game level, we will have to open up the game mode that is used in our game level and set our player controller. If this doesn't exist for you, just create a new blueprint of type game mode base. So we are just going to test if any errors come up now. Press new game and our game level. Once we hit quit the game from our pause menu, we should not see any errors. And we are pretty much done here. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any problems or questions, feel free to contact us on our Discord server 
or via email. You can also leave us a review on the Unreal Engine Marketplace to help us further improve Menu System Pro. Thank you again and see you on the next one.